Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another excellent tutorial. So let's get cracking. Everybody, we are back with one of my favorite projects. This is an awesome little 3D printed turtle. I leave these little keychains on Mount Pisgah where I climb. This is an inverted base. They snap on here just like that. That way they stay nice and flat for laser cutting. Now, friends, don't forget earlier I showed you my large honeycomb bed pin and line. Let me show you how slick it is to mark the back of these turtles using this rig. Of course, before I get going too far, I do want to show you I do already have the height adjusted. And of course, we'll put that back where it goes. Friends, if you have not seen how I created that part for 3D printing so that my turtles lay flat, I will make sure there's a link to that video in the top corner. Of course, at this point, friends, we are in light burn. Let's do file open and find my turtle project. I've got that very creative four turtle name. There you can see the four turtles, but watch this. I've got these little rectangles to get it nudged to the exact distance. I measured the spot between my little shape I created. Right now, though, I only want to print one. I am gonna solve that by selecting these three. Notice that one is not selected. And then I'm gonna set them to number 28. If we look under here for cuts and layers, right now it is set to line and image. I'm gonna just simply set it to do not output. And I'm going to also say do not show. So it just looks a little more clear. Now friends, let's power on the laser. I do need to switch to the laser man. Of course that triggers the homing. Now I'm going to do a few shift nudges to move it out there. And then let me show you how I line this up. So I've found that if I go back about that far, and I'm gonna do a couple control clicks to the right, let's do a quick frame and see what we get. So notice that was quite far on the left edge of our turtle. I'm gonna do a couple more control clicks. I'm gonna do frame again. I'm gonna do a couple control clicks down. I found that I have to be a little low on this there is my second control click down. One more frame. I'm going to do two more control clicks down. Now there has been a lot of practice to get these numbers. But right now, friends, I'm going to grab those safety glasses and let's make something magical. Friends, I'm going to do a quick shift nudge to move that out of the way, but that way it keeps my alignment. And now we can pull this out and check it out. There is my HL Mod Tech with the YouTube in the middle. So friends, that was a tiny bit low, but I'm just going to slide it up on the next one when I've got a whole full rack of turtles. So real quickly, I have got it reloaded. And then because of the way I built this, it slides right in. There's a little hook that it stops right at that spot. So it's super simple to get these lined back up. They snap into place nice and easy. And then of course I can move the laser back into place with a simple shift nudge. But then I'm gonna do three control nudges forward to reset that new height. And then simply return to cuts and layers and I'm going to show all of these so I can fix what I did. The first thing I'm going to do is click on those images and I'm going to set them all to zero zero so they're back like they used to be. Then let's zoom in and now I can click the ones that were under it and they used to be 201 so let me quickly get those back to 201. Bingo! So they were just for measuring now we are all set once again friends grabbing those safety glasses let's click start and make something magical
friend since I've got a few more. I'm gonna do that shift nudge to move it forward. But now we can pick it up and check out how cool those all turned out. Absolutely loving how close I am to center. And of course, it only takes a moment for me to reload and make some more. Of course, friends, I do want to remind you if you're interested in the bed pin or the lines, I have a full tutorial and you can grab the file and the link to the project in Tinkercad on my website. Friends, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and of course, the Tinkercad essentials. Don't forget, in the corner, you will also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Of course, I do also want to highlight the lasers page where you can learn about all the lasers I've worked with and find the download section. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.